Nathan took a pregnant beggar to a restaurant to feed her. But what the boss did when he saw them will leave you shocked. Nathan came from a broken home. His father died serving in the military, leaving Nathan's mother to raise him alone. However, his mother struggled with addiction and always left him alone to fend for himself. When Nathan was just 13, his mother abandoned him and left with her boyfriend. Nathan was left with no family, no home, and no support system. He had to fend for himself on the streets, scavenging for food and shelter. He faced many challenges in his youth, but he persevered, determined to make something of himself despite the odds against him. After years of struggle, he finally got a job as a janitor at a big restaurant in the heart of the city. Nathan took pride in his work and was loved by all the staff. Even though the boss was very strict, Nathan was grateful to have a job that paid his bills. One night, as Nathan was taking the trash outside the restaurant, he noticed a young pregnant woman sitting on the curb. She wore a dirty tattered coat with tears streaming down her face. Nathan felt pity for her immediately. He knew that he couldn't just ignore her. As he approached the pregnant woman, he could see she looked really pale and emaciated, like she hadn't eaten in days. Nathan got closer to her and asked her if she was okay. The pregnant beggar named Catherine looked up at him for a few seconds and said nothing. She was clearly surprised that someone was talking to her. Nathan could see that she was afraid to speak to him, so he gently reassured her that he wasn't going to hurt her. Jonathan gently asked her again if she was okay, and the pregnant beggar whispered that she was fine. Nathan could see that she was lying, but she didn't push the matter. Instead, he gave her a kind smile and offered to get her some food. Catherine didn't believe him at first, because he was just a stranger she just met. But Nathan pointed to the restaurant and told her work there, so he could take her there. Catherine nodded slowly, and Nathan held out a hand to help her up. Together, they walked towards the restaurant. The pregnant lady was in her early 20s. She was quite skinny, so it was easy to tell that she had not eaten well in a long time. Despite her poor appearance, Nathan could see that she was still beautiful, but her bright eyes were full of sadness and fear. Nathan led her into the restaurant, where he gave her some leftover food that had been gathered from that day. The restaurant was big, and many customers often left without finishing their meals. Catherine's eyes widened at the sight of so much food, and she couldn't believe her luck. She had been starving for days and didn't know where her next meal would come from. She ate the food Nathan offered her very hungrily. As she ate, Nathan asked Catherine about her life and how she ended up on the streets. She, feeling grateful for the meal, opened up to him and told him about her sad background. Her mother, Martha, had left her poor father for another man, Martin, whom she later got married to. Martin had promised to make her life easier and even set up a business for. Unfortunately, three years after they got married, Martin lost his well-paying job after the company found out he was involved in fraud. He blamed Martha for his downfall and detested her. He became a heavy drinker and would come home late at night yelling at her. Catherine wasn't left out as well. On many occasions, he would yell at her to go meet her real father and would even sometimes lock her up just because he didn't want to see her face. Despite all this, Catherine was glad because she had her mother by her side. Unfortunately, when she turned 13, her mother suddenly fell sick and passed away. Catherine was devastated as she was left with her unsupportive stepfather, who blamed her for her mother's death. She dropped out of school and worked odd jobs to survive because her useless drunken stepfather refused to take care of her and constantly threatened to kick her out of the house. Her only source of happiness was her relationship with Samuel, a man she met when she turned 18. The two had a great relationship, or so it seemed. Unfortunately, when Catherine became pregnant, Samuel disappeared without a trace, leaving her to carry the child alone. She was devastated by his betrayal, feeling alone and scared. As Catherine narrated her ordeal, Nathan felt so much pity for her. Nathan knew that his strict boss, Mr. Jared Wilson, would disapprove of him letting a pregnant beggar into his restaurant. 
However, now that he knew her story, he was glad he took the bold step to help her. Nathan couldn't bear the thought of leaving Catherine hungry and alone on the streets as he once lived on the streets himself. As she finished eating, he packaged extra food and promised to check up on her later. When Catherine arrived home late that day, her stepfather was already drunk and waiting for her. He started yelling insults at her, telling her that she was a burden to him. When he saw the food that Nathan had given to her, he snatched it and threw it out of the window. As Catherine tried to reason with him, he became angry and pushed her out of the house, showing no concern for her or her pregnancy. Catherine felt helpless and tearfully thought about Samuel, who had abandoned her when she told him about her pregnancy. She knew she had to leave her abusive stepfather, but she didn't know where to go. Well, nothing could have prepared her for what was about to happen to her. The next day at the restaurant, the security guard told Nathan's boss, Mr. Jared Wilson, that Nathan had brought a homeless pregnant woman into his restaurant kitchen. Jared was very angry because he hated anything that could spoil the reputation of his big restaurant. He called Nathan into his office and scolded him for his recklessness. The boss then ordered him to find the pregnant woman and bring her to his office, so he could warn her never to step into the restaurant again. Nathan went out immediately to search for Catherine. After several minutes, he found her sleeping outside on a street corner near the restaurant. She was shivering and malnourished after being kicked out by her stepfather the previous night. Nathan helped her up and led her back to the restaurant, where his boss was waiting. When they arrived, Jared took one look at Catherine and gasped. He looked at her in shock before finally speaking. Hannah? He said, his voice cracking. Is that you? My daughter? Catherine's weak eyes widened in confusion. Jared looked at Catherine intently, studying her face. He could see the resemblance between her and his daughter Hannah. He reached out a shaking hand and gently touched her cheek. Catherine was taken aback by the boss's reaction. She didn't expect such a reaction from someone she had never met before. She could feel his trembling hand on her face and could sense the fear in his touch. Catherine expressed her confusion and told the boss that her name was Catherine and that she was not his daughter. As she spoke, Jared stared at her, lost in thoughts. When he finally overcame the shock, he staggered to his drawer and with trembling fingers, he brought out a photo album and began to show her the pictures in the album. The first few pictures were that of a little set of twin girls, aged two, and the last three pictures were that of a girl who looked 100% like Catherine. Who is she? Catherine gasped. Your twin sister, Hannah, Jared replied as a tear strolled down his cheeks. Just then, he asked Catherine if she had a birthmark on her stomach, as Hannah also had one. And Catherine tearfully confessed that she had one too, and it was exactly the way Jared had described it. Amid tears, Jared then explained that Martha had given birth to twin girls, but she had taken one with her when she left him because he was poor. After she left, he threw himself into his work, and although it took a while, he eventually worked his way to the top. Jared also told Catherine that he had never stopped searching for her. He also told her that her twin sister was schooling abroad. This revelation shook Catherine to the core. She never knew any of this as her mother never mentioned that she had a twin sister. She looked at Jared, and for the first time, she saw a resemblance. They had the same eyes and the same jawline. Jared's heart was filled with compassion as he reached out to Catherine, taking her hand in his. It saddened him deeply to learn that Martha had already passed away. He expressed his sincere apologies to Catherine for the hardships she had faced in life, and he assured her that she now had a family who would care for her and her unborn baby. The boss was also grateful to Nathan because it weren't for him, he wouldn't have been able to reunite with his long-lost daughter. Nathan and Catherine became friends and gradually, they started developing feelings for each other and in due time, they became an item. Three months later, Nathan proposed to her and she happily said yes. They fixed the wedding date and all preparations were put in place. Hannah also flew into the city to best her sister. 
It was a beautiful and incredible moment for all. What do you think about this story? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you next time.